to come up and say a few words, please. Thank you, Georgia. Thank you, Mr. President. President Trump, you made America great again because you put America first. Thank you. President Trump created the strongest economy because he put the American worker first. He stood up, that's right, he stood up to the cancel culture, China, big tech, the fake news. We are standing strong for President Trump because he's fought for us every single day. Every day. Georgia, we need you to vote January 5th. If you're our voice on January 5th, we'll be your voice for years. We have to make sure that we keep America strong. <laughs> Thank you. Well, you know what? My colleague, David Perdue, my good friend, wants to make sure that you vote. We are gonna vote because if we don't vote, we will lose the country. If we vote, we will win. Hey guys, I wanna take liberty just one second. I wanna say something personal to President Trump. Hey guys, I wanna say something for President Trump personally. Guys, I wanna say something personal for President Trump. God bless you. We love you, Mr. President. We love the First Lady. And we're going to fight and win those two seats and make sure you get a fair, square deal in the state of Georgia. God bless you, Mr. President. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. We're fighting. We're going to fight like you never saw before. Thank you. We can't let what happened three weeks ago, we can't let it happen. Not, it's beyond me. We can't let it happen. And somewhere there's going to be a champion, your champion, somewhere there's going to be a champion that's going to do what's right, because this has been going on for a long time, but never like it's happened recently. And you know, they've used the pandemic and the phony fake ballots, the mail-in ballots, they use that to sabotage your country. We're not going to let it happen. As you know, a major issue in this state is voter fraud. It's been a big issue for a long time. But